want to start off with fresh clean stretched hair. Then I'm showing you the two packs of hair that I used and I'm just showing you how I prepared my hair. I have a violet in a 1B. Then you're going to go to the um, middle of your hair and just part it in one section, one line across. And then you're going to take um, whatever um, product that you want to use to hold your hair in place to give it some um, texture and shine. Just comb it forward, coming back, comb it back to where, um, because the crown braid is going to go around your head and you want your hair, the edges of your hair to look neat. So I'm starting from the back and I'm taking the hair and I'm getting the section and I'm just going to start grabbing the hair and braiding one side of the head. Then you want to continue going around the head, just braid around. And right here, this is kind of difficult for me because of course I cannot see the back of my head. So it kind of looks a little sloppy, but at the end I am going to um, fix it up so it can look nice and neat and ready for the world. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the side and going to the front and I'm just going to continue braiding but the trick is with this, I forgot to mention at the beginning that you don't want to braid tight. And I have the tendency to braid tight. I'm like a little heavy hand. I like to pull tight sometimes. So I'm just reassure, reassuring that the braid is in tight and I'm going back and I'm pulling the hair out because I want it to look kind of puffy. So I decided that it wasn't... Um, puffy enough because I don't like my hair to be neat you guys know I don't like neat hair I don't like structured hair I like it to look natural like it wasn't you weren't trying to get the style that's the kind of oh and that's the second piece I'm going to add in and you see as I'm pulling it out you want to braid and then go back and pull it out just so it won't be as tight then you're going to braid down And again, that braid is tight, so I'm going to adjust it a little. I'm going to, okay, I'm taking it out because that braid was entirely too tight for the style that I'm looking for. I'm going to loosen it up, not braid as taut. Okay, then I'm fixing it up. Just kind of take your two fingers and pull each side of the braid. And you kind of play with it until you reach your desired look. And then you're going to braid it down. And that violet hair was kind of, it was too silky for my texture. I like a little coarse, you know, my hair's coarse. That's why I like my hair. And then go ahead and cut some of that off because you don't want it to be too long. That's why... I'm going to go ahead and take it to the back of my head just to um, measure it kind of to see where it ends up. Bring it back, loosen it up, readjust it. It's a lot of adjusting in this hairstyle because you want it to fit you. Then I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to put my pins in and voila. And then I'm going to cut those beady beads off just so the nape of your neck, your nape can look nice and clean kind of clean but I like my I like baby hairs in the back also but it gets too long then you want to take the end of your comb and kind of just clean up everything run the comb in between the braids just to smooth out any like eggs my friend calls them like eggshells I don't know never heard of them until she said it but that's what I call them now and then just kind of press them down make everything look neat and cute but not to like put together I don't want I don't like put together hair 
unless I'm wearing braids or something. Then you gotta get those baby hers. Get them together. Make them shine through. Get it together. Gotta get the sideburns. Ooh, girl, you look cute. That's cute. And then it's not too much purple. It's just enough. And then I'm going to take my Sebastian Shine and Mist and then my she Sebastian Shaper Hairspray and just finish it off. Make sure it stays in place and add a little shine to it. And there you guys. I mean, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and have a great day. And make sure you guys subscribe. Mm -hmm.